What's up guys, back in today with another reaction to Fruits Basket, this time with episode 6 of the final season, or season 3. Really excited to get into today's episode of this season, it's been absolutely fantastic so far. Uh, last episode we got another absolute banger with Mimiji, uh, seeing him all grown up, both physically and mentally as well, uh, breaking away from the curse. It was just an absolute classic episode, uh, definitely go check that up in the i button up above, won't spoil any more of that one, but um, again, very excited to get into today's episode. Make sure you let me know what you guys think of this one though down in the comment section. Leave a like on the video if you guys did like the video and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up up to date with these daily reactions and let's get right into the episode guys three two one let's go <laughs> so she's crying over the hair and the uh and the lock-up incident <laughs> yeah, violence is still wrong, but it's nice seeing these guys be such good friends, isn't it? Even though if Susie doesn't really want to admit that. Yeah, but she would probably be crying a lot more. She did. I mean, they're, she's given up on trying to break the curse. I mean, not, not that she even really needs to find a way. They just need to stay next to... Um, is where Kyo is going? Uh, um, yeah, she just... All these guys just really need to stay near, near Tori, don't they? That in itself is kind of going against the Kyo's will for these guys. So, um, yeah, just stay near her <laughs> and it will break by itself, hopefully. No idea how long it will take. But it's uh, quite interesting, isn't it, that Suzu and everyone else, you see the effect that being locked up had on her and all these other people. And that was for a reasonably short time in comparison to Kyo's granddad. You can imagine what it'd be like being in there for years but the funny thing is we did see Kyo's granddad earlier on in the series didn't we and he uh he done something nice for Kyo which again you wouldn't really think being stuck in a place like that you think you'd be very miserable and just rotten I guess that kind of shows his strength as well Amiji, the boy, and Kareno not looking, of course. Again, there was some quite interesting differences with how those two handled uh, handled the break of the curse, wasn't there? Of course, Mamiji handled it a whole lot better. Uh, I mean, for Kareno, he was young. I mean, so is Mamiji, but a little bit younger and kind of younger uh yeah before i got interrupted by um <laughs> by a sneeze yeah he's a he's a uh little bit less kind of developmentally wasn't he Kareno? mamiji went for a whole lot at a very young age so yeah i guess that makes sense from ko's perspective doesn't it ko doesn't really go to shiso she shows all that much doesn't live there anymore it's probably nice for shiso to live with someone That was another thing I'm, I'm interested in still. Kyo and, uh, Kyo and Tori's mum. Still don't really know all too much about that. Although we have seen glimpses of uh, each of our main characters' past. I don't think you should believe her so readily. <laughs> And this is one of the first times we actually know what Shigure is speaking about. <laughs> and he's right. The 
disgustingly close. <clears throat> Yeah, she doesn't actually need to worry about it, even even though that incident made her kind of scared about it. Yeah, eventually these guys, as long as they do keep doing what they're doing. It will break. Yeah, when? Kyo's sake, obviously, it needs to be um, oh, interesting. That's why it might be the final banquet. Everyone bought here to uh, the one last time. It hasn't been for a long time. Yeah, do you reckon it all kind of started with that then, with with Kareno? And it all just kind of railed apart from that one strand. even bigger monster yep as the one grace I guess for a lot of these guys so that's pretty disgraceful check your mouth hopefully What are you going to say? <laughs> what are you going to say? Things change, I guess, don't they? Kyoko san.
fucking tough spot, isn't it? I, I can't even begin to say anything about this. Never had an issue like this. Fortunately. Or unfortunately. Eventually she will have to, won't she? This emerging love of Kyo coming up. Just keeps mixing them up. They're so alike, maybe. I mean, he can help it. Yep, yeah, I guess uh, a lot of the Somers can relate to that. Like Kaguya. <laughs> wow. I mean, it is a bit of a shame there were paper fucking walls. <laughs> Be taking the man you love. <laughs> I would cement everything, wouldn't it? Oh, you did just absolutely destroy his home. I wouldn't say she pays him. Did he? Wow, so at least he had someone there. Hmm. 
So it was just our P. I think either way it was nicer than spending the days alone to be fair but I, don't, I still I can't exactly agree with that I don't think so Susan was looking great that new hair She said it. Oh crap. <laughs> Holy crap. It's like she was waiting in the wings for her to say that. <laughs> oh damn. Oh god. Apologies guys, I got me big time. I guess she just gets reminded of her husband every time her daughter speaks. Is that why she adopted that way of speaking? And that's when uh, that's when Yuki found her. Oh, so he's already heard this. I suppose maybe this is some good timing for you now, Toru, after what Kag Kagura said. What did he look like? We've never seen a clear photo of him or anything, have we? She's invading a little bit of herself right there, isn't she? And she's gone hiding again. Ah. because he left
I'm sure she probably did as well. Get out of that fucking... <laughs> That rapping man. Oh God. Both. <laughs> I was gonna say. Very much doubt that. No. It's the first time you're seeing that. Oh, there's more? How was that? He recognizes the cap now? Oh shit. What the fuck? So she was in that picture. Forgive you. We've heard that before as well, have we not? You sound like Deco. Oh my god. Well, that would be a big twist, wouldn't it? Wow. But yeah, I think I was wondering what that empty photo was. There was just an empty photo with just clouds, but I'm guessing that was a photo with her mum in there. Obviously, just despairing that she's now gone. And she will eventually leave. Well, she won't ever really leave Tori's heart, will she? But she will unfortunately be again be replaced as uh, the most precious thing in there by Kyo. Although that could potentially change from what we just saw there. That was uh, that was violent. <laughs> I don't think we've ever seen something like that in this show, have we? Well, we have. We have seen violence, of course, but I don't think we've ever actually seen a uh, an image that bloody and yeah. Damn, I'm gonna rewatch that in a second. It's almost a bit weird having such a nice ending after that. <laughs> that was an awesome episode up until that point, wasn't it? I mean, not that, not that made it any worse, of course, but it was a, uh, a lovely episode to get feelings out from everyone. Okay, now we're gonna go back, whatever that was. Karapada. That's Akito saying that. So we're gonna get some Akito next episode, from what it looks like. And it looks like we're probably gonna get some backstory and some more flashbacks with Kyoko from what I just heard there. I think that was her voice actor speaking just then. That, that should be an awesome episode tomorrow. Um, this is crazed. They all obviously remember the hat. Him, Yuki, and Tori all have incidents with the hat. Uh, he's, did he see her dead body then, or did he maybe have something to do with it? Did he cause it potentially? Was was it maybe he didn't have the um didn't have the wrist thing on, uh, the bracelet? Maybe he done it. That would be ruthless. He does look horrified, and he doesn't look like he's wearing it there, although you can't really tell because he's got sleeves. Just standing in front of a dead body. Put this away. 
What did you put away? Is that is that just him imagining her saying that? Or did she actually say that to him, do you reckon? It kind of seems like it's him just imagining that she said that to him. Oh, we've definitely heard that before, haven't we? Yuru Senai Kara. I think we heard that a long while ago, actually. Obviously, it hasn't been brought up again till this point, but, um, wow. Again, there could be a whole lot of theories there, couldn't there? But I think what is going to happen is we're probably going to get a good look at some of the backstory. And, um, again, like I mentioned in this episode, we're probably going to get a look at how Kyo and Kyoko were kind of related to each other um, and how they actually got to know each other. And uh, how it looks like he stumbled upon her death, maybe. Maybe he was the first one to find her. And um, again, we don't really know how she did die. So, um, well, I, I can't remember if it was mentioned. I don't really know how she died. So, um, yeah, it looks like next episode is going to be a very enlightening episode. This episode in general was really awesome, wasn't it? Um, getting, again, more thoughts of a lot of the characters, seeing some awesome character interactions, again, between Kagura, um, Toru, uh, as well as Rin, of course, uh, Shigure as well. Shigure, first time we're actually kind of uh, speaking to him, where he's actually kind of, we, we know fully what he's saying he's not this kind of cryptic character I mean he still was pretty cryptic about it but again we, we actually knew what he was saying this time um, and he wasn't lying so I think we can actually take from that he is very truthful in what he says from um, from that but um, again very very interesting episode again just a little bit a uh, little bit Kind of muddled by, by the end of this episode to be honest with you guys um got a lot of a uh, lot of theories kind of swirling around so um i think i'm probably just gonna try and get out of my head and wait till tomorrow's episode um because again there could be uh could be so many things going on here but yeah let me know what you guys thought about this episode down in the comment section it was a beautiful episode again really love getting the thoughts of uh toru kyo as well seeing their relationship and seeing what they think of each other and um seeing again it, it's hard because toru's mum was so precious to her and seeing that kind of replaced by uh kyo is it's is a hard thing to deal with isn't it and um yeah it was just a really really tough to watch but also again really beautiful to watch and um and just love how it has that kind of duality to it this show um but yeah again let me know what you guys thought about this episode down in the comment section it was another absolute banger uh leave a like on the video if you guys did like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these daily reactions i absolutely cannot wait to get into the episode tomorrow so hopefully join me for that one and enjoy the rest of your day guys